What was your name again? Tortilla? Mi no, Tortilla, that's the, that was the leader of the FDSO, bro. My name is Mr. Worldwide. God bless you, Mr. Cornwood. Uh -huh. God bless you and everything you stand for. What do you mean? I'm here to put in a PD application. Okay, hey, Mr. Picadillo. Picadillo, my amigo, Mr. Worldwide. Howdy, y'all. Este, ¿Cómo está, Mr. Cornwood? Oh, uh, yeah, howdy. Como, como es that? You used to work here back in your day, apparently. I said, hey, you, you don't remember me, man? SDSO, I was with Tortilla. You don't remember Tortilla? That was the, what happened to Tortilla, bro? I, and Mr. Bones, you remember Mr. Bones, the SDSO? I Hell. speak Spanish. Do you need me to translate? Said he's from the SDSO. I'm a piggy English right now. What you saying, bro? speaking English right now. What are you saying right now? Well, no, I, mean, I, I understand. I understand what he's saying. He's, you know, I, I understand Mexican. I said it. Mexican. Eh, Spanish. Oh, oh, yeah. Este todo mundo aquí son unos tremendo come pingas. Yeah, no, exactly. I completely agree. So here's the thing. One, I am, uh... I wasn't really around SDSO time. I came back because I was, uh, oh, you know what? We probably did cross paths at some point. I was only around for like a month because it was at PBSO, yes. SDSO, and, you know, Pred and Teretti were arguing about, oh, okay, which way no. I should go. And I said, to hell with both of y'all. I'm staying in the BCSO by myself. I used to be LSPD <laughs> with a. Uh, he used before, to be the LSPD. Before uh -huh. uh, I was in the before LSPD when Bass was, was chief of police. Bass was the chief of police. And on the top, where Bass at? Where's Bass at? Uh, where's ba Bass? Is, uh, Bass is dead. What? Did you say he died, bro? Yeah, yeah, he... Ay, mi madre, a Jesucristo, are you gonna... How he died? Uh, I don't know. I think he, like... I, I wasn't around. This was after I, I was said gone. it. That was my bald brother, man. We, me and him, we yeah, used excellent. to get confused a lot. So that was alive. his bald brother. Yeah. They used to think I was bad <laughs> sometime, man. I know how he died. I think he, okay. like, jumped on a grenade or some shit, and I think, like, Rami, like, pissed on his grave. I... I... I punched the shit out of Rami when he said that. It pissed me the hell off. Oh, Rami peace while he dying? Yeah, something like that. Ay, mi madre. Okay. Well, let me introduce myself now that this fella's done ran his mouth for five straight minutes. Dylan okay. Sawyer. All right, Dylan, nice I'm to from meet Brokeback, you. Montana. <laughs> <laughs> Came out here to put my PD application in. Okay. I'm a country boy. I'm a simple man. I like riding my horse, making love to my wife. Uh -huh. Who's his cousin? Don't forget that part. It's his cousin. My wife, my first wife was my cousin. Well, you got to start somewhere. But my second wife was not. That's your okay. sister. No, it's not. It's my second cousin. Oh, well, at that, I mean, at that point, you're not even family, really. I'm a straight man. Uh-huh. Well. You want a translation into Spanish? I can translate yeah, what he's you, saying Yeah, can you translate that to Mexican for okay. me? Okay, so he say that <laughs> él tiene una Cornwall, mujer y es su hermana, okay? Y también dijo que es un tremendo come pinga. Yes, that's what he's saying. Hold on, I'm sorry. I don't... You're speaking Cuban. I don't understand. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a piggy Spanish. He's speaking Spanish, but he's from Cuba. What? It's the same language, my friend. Is he from Cuba or Spain? Ay, mi madre, para la pinga, ser gordo de pinga. You are, you are a pinga, Cornwood. No, okay, how am I? Wait, okay, I'm not. No. A, I am not. No, I'm not a pinga. Well, there's a lot of history there. Gordito, listen. Gordito <laughs> is Gordito, different country. Okay. Different country, same language. Okay, next thing you get. Yeah, okay, are you going to start telling me English and American is the same? You're right. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Cohen. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm doing. I'm trying to do PD application just like this guy right here. Okay. So, okay. What is what is y'all's experience? You you were part of the SDSO, you said. Yes, I was police officer, my friend. You know, anybody that was doing crime, jail, a la pinga. Why did I stop? I didn't. I got deported because listen, keep it be keep it in the room. But I didn't have green card when I was cop. They found out the Cuban government. They came. They took me back. I come back over here. Now I have green card. Yeah, apparently I got fucking fired. I was gone for a while. I mean, hell, I didn't even know there was a damn the whole damn government changed and shit. I showed I showed back up and I was like, hell, where, where the hell's my uniform? Exactly. That's what I was wondering through, bro. Uh -huh. I'm gonna ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. Can you tell me? Well, uh, Corner, before you ask me questions, I get a few things from them. Don't uh, don't worry about the field. I'll, I'm feeling generous today. Are you willing to pay their $2,500 application fee? Yeah, Listen, Mr. Fuck. Duncan, if you can't pay, okay. it's okay. I go work at the Cine Bunk. Probably just go get a job on a ranch or something. Is I kind of want them to have to make the money. Yeah, Perfect. exactly. It introduces the character is. of the city. All right, Mr. Worldwide, you? Uh, <laughs> what you need? You need ID? <laughs> ID, phone number, shift. Anyway, Cornwood, you got the application for them, right? No, I want you to give it to them. Okay, so I'm, I want to ask you, uh, what was your name again? Tortilla? Mr. 
No, Tortilla, that's the, that was the leader of the FDSO, bro. My name is Mr. Worldwide. Can I see your ID one more time? Okay, Picadillo. Picadillo, my friend. Picadillo, you're right, Mr. Corn. I'm sorry. Okay. Wait, Picadillo? Listen, listen, you will call me whatever you want. Uh, okay, can you explain a few things for me? I'm seeing this how you're an officer with uh, some experience. Okay, okay. I want to make sure you know, you know, what the hell you're talking about. Can you, for me, explain uh, what's the difference between reasonable, reasonable suspicion and probable cause? Okay, reasonable suspicion is when you don't have enough to arrest somebody. But you have enough suspicion to ask questions, detain, uh, you know, uh, what's it called, power for weapon, for example. And you can get that. Like, for example, if somebody calls 911 and say, I said it, there's somebody here with a gun. This is his description. Then you have the suspicion, okay, enough to detain the person and speak to them and pat them down. Now, probable cause is when, like, for example, you see somebody selling drugs, you know, that's more than suspicion because you saw that she broke. So it's like, ay, mi madre, he's selling cocaine to kids. I saw it happen. I got a picture. Arrest this on bitch. Uh huh. So you see that probable cause? I said it. That was good. That was good, actually. That was a good, uh, good answer. Now, uh, you, my friend. I'm gonna throw a scenario your way, and I'm, I'm gonna be a little bit harder on you because, because you say you have some experience, right? Okay. Yes, I have opinion, but to be fair, it been like two years. Okay. But yes, I have opinion. I'm, yes. Okay. Somebody gives a call, right? Hey, I heard gunshots out here. I'm sitting at home. You know, I'm, I'm sitting here on the south side. I heard people screaming outside. There's a guy shooting, shooting up shit. I'm calling the police. Can y'all go check it out? I'm, I'm worried somebody might be shot or hurt or something happened. You roll to the scene, you see two women, you see a man. Are they attractive? One is, one isn't. And the other one, she has a dog. <laughs> There was a car over to the I'm side. Have to shoot that dog. Okay, okay. good answer. Good answer. Because that dog. Well, I mean, you have to frisk the dog first, see if he has a gun. But you know, we, you know, that don't matter. Anyway, there's a car over there on the side. Windows are broken. The door is missing actually, and uh, it's smoking a little bit. That's it. That's all the information I'll give you. What do you do? Okay, if the people are on the scene of the call, right where gunshot were fired, everybody is getting the tank and everybody getting GSR. I said it. If the dog tried to attack us. That motherfucker getting killed. Okay. okay? Do you GSR we the dog? Take, we GSR the dog. You okay, never know. Shit. Some <laughs> listen, some people, you never know nowadays, bro. Some people be dressing like dogs. They, they, it's like a costume. You never know. Uh -huh. They could be inside of a dog costume. What if they started shooting? Okay. And uh, we checked the car for tampering. Okay. Why did you check the car for tampering? Is the car illegally parked or not? Yes. Okay. Is there bullet holes in the car? No. But it's illegally parked? Yes. Okay. Does the car come back to one of the people that we detained on scene? No. The car is flagged 1060. I don't know what 1060 is. Uh, I forgot. Stolen, stolen vehicle. Yeah, it's flagged as stolen. It's flagged as stolen. It actually doesn't change or anything. No. If the vehicle is stolen, we search it. We impound it. Do you do or that? No. But do you do that because it's stolen, or do you do that because it's parked illegally and, and uh, it's smoking? Because it's stolen. If a car is parked illegally, you're gonna search it. Well, if it's parked illegally, you can tow it, right? You can tow it. So what do you do if you tow it? Can you search it every time you tow a vehicle, even if it's illegally parked? You should, because what if there's a bomb or some shit in there and it ends up going to the tow lot? Okay, that's cool. Sorry, I forgot. Okay. What does that mean for the people there? First of all, we question them, right? And we have no proof that they wasn't in the car, they wasn't using it. We cannot charge them with that because we cannot prove it. Good answer. I think you got a good head on your shoulders. I, I think we need someone in the department that can probably speak Cubish and translate. Yeah, I mean, hell, I, you know, we, obviously we got to go through a, a more rigorous interview process and get your application, all that shit in. Did Duncan get your info? I gave him all my information. Oh, uh -huh. well, good. Good to hear. Okay, so just, just to uh, clarify, my friend, Mr. Conwood, this was a, not the interview, this was like the application, right? This is like a pre-interview. If you okay. don't, if you don't pass my temperature check, then then we're gonna take your two twenty five hundred dollars and throw it in the trash. Okay, muchas gracias, Mr. Mm -hmm. Conway. Listen, for your time, I got you a present, my friend. What was that? I got you some food, bro. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm sure you know. I'm sure you're hungry here, working out day. You know, you need breaks on time. Yeah. Get you a little sneaker. You know, all that. Yeah, Muchas absolutely. Gracias. Okay. Now, what did you just Dale, do? What you say? You know what bribery is? I said it. I'm not bribing you. I'm just giving you food because you are a good guy. That's not bribery, my friend. A good yes, answer. My friend. All right, now for you, uh, Sawyer, right? Dylan Sawyer, is that your name? That is my name. Okay. Dylan Sawyer. Okay. Dylan, where, where'd you come from? You said Montana? Brokeback, Montana. Uh-huh. I used to work for my daddy at the sheriff's office as a deputy under him. Oh, really? Okay, so you got some experience, too. Tragic ranching accident. Really? Well, I'm sorry to hear that. What happened? Can you relive that moment the cow for me? got out of the stall. <laughs> and my father approached that cow, and that cow jumped on him. Hmm. He just got mauled right then and there by a, by a rabid cow. My favorite cow. She turned on my pa, and then I had to put her down. I lost my favorite cow and my daddy that day. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. 
I'm sorry about you, Cal. Uh, Don't oh, and be, your, and I'm your father. Not. Someone just drove a car into this room. Oh, hell, not again. Hey, uh, disregard shots, MRPD. I need you to stay safe. Uh, I gotta call, call, uh, I'm gonna call a toe on that. Got a friend of mine, he's probably around. Usually around right now. Hi, you've reached the voicemail box of Kyle Pred. I'm currently being a terror. Leave your name and number, and I'll get back to you. Atta Kyle. Beep. Atta Kyle. It's, uh, it's Cornwood. The, uh, oh, hold on, let me just put my phone back to my ear. <laughs> Sorry, my arm was getting tired. Uh, anyway, yeah, there's a, uh, there's a car here that needs to be towed. Uh, there's a crazy woman who just decided to drive it into the side of the PD through the window. Um... You just come by here. I mean, she's dead in the car. You can leave her in there. That's fine. Let me know when you get this. <clears throat> anyway, where were we? I, how much experience do you have? I was a deputy from when I was 14 years old. Okay, that's some good shit. I like that. So how many years experience do you have? I'm 30 now. Were you good or no? 34 now. Was I good? Some would say that I knew a thing or two. I don't like to toot my own horn. I like my results to speak for themselves there, Mr. Cornwood. Okay, I'll that's make good. you proud out there. That's good. That's what I like to hear. You know, there's a lot of folks that come in here and they act like they know what the hell they're doing. They act like they know a lot more than the police do. I hate that. More often than not, a lot of people assume the worst. And when you have a lot of people out there assuming the worst, I try and do the best that I can to articulate every single thing that we do to folks. I shoot them. And I would love to shoot them sometimes, but unfortunately I can't do that. Oh, I thought that was a question that you were asking me. <laughs> Nobody should have been. cowboy humor. Oh, hell, I Listen... If only you knew. If only you knew. Oh, I know. This ain't the same world we used to live in, okay? This used to be a great country, but unfortunately the liberals have taken over and they've ruined every single damn thing that we've got. I can't stand them liberals. God bless you, Mr. Cornwood. Uh-huh. God bless you and everything you stand for. Well, I'm trying my best. That's all I try and do. So, anyway, again, you seeing as how you have some experience, I'll ask you a couple more questions. I'll give you kind of an odd one. Police vehicle is at... It's at a restaurant. That police vehicle is parked in front of a bus stop. <laughs> Tow truck driver comes up, pulls out a gun, and starts shooting civilians. What do you do? <laughs> Am I Kurt already Ball. there? Yeah, you're already there. What I'm going to do in that situation, is I'm going to put my hand at my side, unbutton my gun from okay. its holster, grab my firearm. Now then, from what you're telling me, from what I observed a man in a tow truck just pulled up to a fast food restaurant uh -huh. got out of his tow truck and started emptying his clip into a crowd of people i'm gonna point my gun up raise it high oh yeah i'm gonna put a bullet right between that fucker's eyes okay good shit i'm gonna radio them uh -huh. and i'm gonna say situations code four uh -huh. send a hearse yeah, send going. a body bag <laughs> what, sorry? send yeah. some flowers sorry. as well <laughs> <laughs> we got a funeral we need to attend. That day, mm -hmm. formerly been known as Dylan Sawyer Day, DSD. Mm. Now I gotta ask one more question. What's that? What gun were you using? My registered police firearm. As I believe in this situation, I'm on patrol. Now what gun do you want to use? I want to use a good old American gun. Uh -huh. Colt 1911 with a wooden handle. There you go. That was a beautiful answer. No need to cry there, Mr. Cornwood. I'm here for you. Well, I appreciate it, Dylan. Ruined your black tie. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What, what'd you the say? The last one to know. I, no, not you, Dylan. I've been, the last I got... one to show. I was the last one you thought it. you'd see there. Well, he's going to 123 and my granddad awesome lift the truck. Okay. Uh, here, Dylan, come with me. We got to go help out a fellow officer. Perfect. Perfect. I'm right see you behind you there, Mr. Cornwood. All right, we'll see you soon. Let me take my shirt off and take a look at this. No, it's okay. You don't got to do that. I already got it going. Appreciate it, though, Dylan. No, I insist. Okay, you can go right ahead if I can't get it done. Why don't you both take your shorts off and work on my truck? Oh, okay. Take a look at this. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Can you, can, you, can you grab that I'll for me? I'll get your hips to make sure you got some good leverage. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Just make sure I don't fall over. Yeah, make sure you lift his hips there so he can really lean in. And I got yeah, the grip on you the there, there, Mr. Yeah. Cornwood. Yeah, here. Can you, can you grab that wrench for me? Yeah. My hands are full with your immaculate mass. Okay. Damn it. Well, just reach around right quick. Let me grab that wrench. Yeah, there you go. Make sure that you maybe give him a little back massage while he's working there. All right, there we go. Yeah, okay, appreciate that. You like this? Is this new? That's yeah. new. Yeah, it's brand new. Texas Ranger detective outfit. Reminds me of my daddy. My daddy was the sheriff of the Brokeback Sheriff's Department. The okay, all right. You're applying to the LSPD? I'm applying to the police, but 
My heart is in the county. Okay, well, well, Declan, it's a pleasure. I have a, a gut feeling you and Cornwood are going to get along swimmingly. Him and uh, the guy named, like, uh, Piccadillo. Piccadillo? Yeah. So what about that? He's like Cubish. Cubish? Uh huh. Just a little bit. Not Cubin, <laughs> just Cubish. Or is uh -huh. he a big square? No. Um, no, he's like. Nothing. No, he's like rectangleish. Okay. All right, I'm going to get to you, Bloods. I really appreciate it. All right. What the hell? Wait, he owes me $90,000. Why is he buying new cars for? It? Clearly, he doesn't respect you and has no intention of paying you back. Wait, what the hell? I just realized he. <laughs> is there a con uh, contract agreement for the money that you let him borrow? No, I'm not a pussy. I don't do contracts. There ain't nothing more valuable than your word. A piece of paper don't change that. Uh huh. You're a true patriot. So you don't care. You don't care who your partner is for the day. That's good. See, that's what we need. We need you to be a team player, okay? Because that's the thing. I know you said you, <clears throat> you don't care about what other folks are doing, but it ain't as simple as that. What we got to do is we got to get all the folks on the same page. We just got to make sure they're doing it the right way, and you got to be confident that your way is the right way. I'm always confident until I'm proven wrong. And well, then I just make the alterations that I need to make in order to get the job done. I'm a switch. Oh, like LSPD or Sheriff's Office? Like, you don't mind which one you go do? Or? No, what I mean is, is I can change it up when I need to. Well, Dylan, here's what we're going to do for you. You got that application? Yeah, he handed me the application and I put it into my coat pocket. Okay, good. Go ahead and fill that thing out, get it sent in, and uh, I'll let him know you applied, okay? I'll send you a text message when I do. I'm sure you'll be interested in this, but uh, I'll be running for sheriff come time the sheriff's elections open up. When's that happening? I have no damn idea, but when they do, appreciate your vote. <laughs> you have my vote. So we can finally get some shit done. And it would be an honor to work for the sheriff's office. I would love that. I would absolutely love that. I should probably get get my shit ready and uh, head on out there.